had a fella had a black rat snake in his chicken coop, so he condemned it and removed its head. But I've got the he gave me the body. We're gonna go ahead and skin it and then uh, tack it down on a board. I'll show you how to do that. That way you can use it for a backing for a self bow or uh, whatever you want. It's not tanning it. All we do is just dry the hide is what we're doing. We're going to dry it good and flat. That way we can use it. What we're going to do is just going to flip it over and then we'll just run the knife right along the belly and split the belly in half. The, when you're using it for a self bow, the wide belly scales you're not going to use that anyway. What you're going to use uh, is what's on the back side of the snake. So all you do is use a knife and basically you just unzip right along the belly of the snake. Now this skin's pretty long to begin with, and I've got plenty already here to back a bow with. The part usually are on the tail, about from the anus down. And here, this has a has a spot probably where you use the hole or whatever they used to kill it with. But this sticks; it doesn't slide off near as good. So I'll probably just pull it off at this point and call it good. So. There we've got it. Now we'll take and uh, uh, take it over to the board, and we'll, we'll stretch it. What I like to use to tack my skin to the board, and this is just a about a one by six uh, board. It's oh, about ten feet long. I've got just a piece of pine. Is uh, just a staple staple gun. Use about quarter inch staples. It's plenty good. And then just start uh, with the head and try and keep the snake's skin centered as you work down the board is all I like to is what I like to use. So we'll get started. Here we have it. We got the 
finished black rat snake. Got him all the way from the tail to the head. And he measures right now right at 70 inches. So you put it on a on a bow around the handle area. You know, if you're gonna wrap the handle, you can actually split the skin and get you another six five, six inches extend your uh, snake skin but at this point uh, there might be a few few little places on there that might need to scrape a little of the little fat little membrane off but it's uh, in pretty good shape but we'll clean it up just a little bit and then uh, we'll let it dry and then after it dries we'll just come back with the knife and we'll trim just right along where these belly scales are because we're not going to use this part so we'll trim just right on the other side, but you want to make sure that your skin is good and dry before uh, you go ahead and cut it. But we'll go ahead and let it dry and I'll uh, get back. Well here's the snake skin. It's good and good and dry. I'll zoom out here a little bit so you can see how long it is. If I can zoom back far enough. But, but notice even though it's a a black rat snake and it's black when you look at the skin when you're uh, skinning it uh, between the scales it has quite a bit of red real real beautiful color it looks real good on a on like a hickory or a light colored bow but what we'll do now is we'll you know, take it in the garage and basically just right along in this area here we'll trim it or just cut it score it well good with both sides with the with a knife and then we'll wrap it up and store it for uh, use later. Okay, it's all loose. Let's turn it over, there's what it looks like. Now this still has the scales on it. I don't take the scales off at this point. Uh, some folks may. I wait till I get it on the back of the bow and then use uh, like duct tape or something of that nature and the <coughs> scales come off real easy. But anyway, now what all I do is uh, I just start start rolling it. And see, I've got a good wide boy. It's a good probably a good at least a good five inches width in the middle, and then of course the tail end. But still, that's wide enough for a, a tip of a bow. So I just mark it. 7 inch black rat snake and go ahead and store that away and pull it out when I get ready to, to back a bow. Thanks for, thanks for watching.